Things are getting hairy with the Blackhawks in their quest for the Stanley Cup. Fans and players alike are refusing to shave <laughs> until the final victory is ours. But CBS 2's Vince Gerasoli reports there's a controversy to comb through. Here they are, fans like Ron and Joe and Dan, growing their beards to cheer on the Hawks. Generally, I'll give it a brush to even it out, and it will typically go back to its wild state. But men like Matt and Victor... I just kind of massage it in there. ...have been bearded for years. Soft, silky. The last two years, I've been really letting it go. Yeah, going for the homeless thing. I'm tapped into some inner caveman. For hair-raising advice, we came face-to-face -face at Q Brothers Men's Grooming, home to over 100 types of beard brushes, waxes, shampoos, and scented oils. There's been a huge resurgence of guys growing their beards out. And where two years ago we may maybe carried two beard oils, now we have over 30. Tame some of the wild hair. The bonus is it smells great. It smells like lemon. Do you mind if I smell it? Sure. What am I supposed to smell? It's a, a little what? A little citrusy, mm -hmm. a little summery, a little light. It does smell pretty good, though. The good luck tradition has grown on the Hawks, too. But look here and see if you agree with NBC Sports chairman who broadcasts the games. He says the facial hair makes players unrecognizable to fans, telling the NHL it would be better if the hair wasn't there. I'll just comb it down. It's criticism getting some prickly oh. reception. I think that's a little weird. I feel like... If a man wants to have a beard, a man should have a beard. No NHL comment on a beard ban that's causing one broadcaster growing pains. It wouldn't be unusual. The New York Yankees have a ban on facial hair beyond mustaches. So I don't have a beard to put the citrus oil on, Robin Kate, but I did put the citrus balm on my hair, and it sure does smell nice. It's a Look shame it. that this isn't smell vision. We, I can smell it from here, actually. It's oh. terrific. Okay, maybe that'll be a good luck smell for the Blackhawks. Who knows? Interesting assignment. Thanks so much, Vince. Well, we continue to monitor the threatening weather.